Alright guys, welcome to the video and in this one we are going to be solving this question strong password on hacker rank and before we get started I have just a small request for you all to just hit the like button down below not for me but for the YouTube algorithm so that this video gets pushed to more and more people and more people can benefit off from this. Alright, so now let's read the question to get into it. Lois joined a social networking site to stay in touch with her friends. The sign up page required her to input a name and a password. However, the password was too strong. The website considers a password to be strong if it satisfies the following criteria. Its length is at least 6, it contains at least one digit, it contains at least one lowercase English character, it contains at least one uppercase English character, it contains at least one special character. And these are the special characters basically. She typed a random string of length n in the password field but, it wasn't, uh, but wasn't sure if it was strong. Given the string she typed, can you find the number of characters that she must add to make her password strong? Alright, so as you can see, it's a pretty simple, straightforward question and as everything in computer science, there are multiple, multiple approaches to solve this one. But I'm going to take an approach that I feel is the most Pythonic per se because this, the point of doing these videos is not only to uh, show you guys how to solve these questions, but also to explore the power of Python, you know. So let's get into it now. Uh, by the way, side note, they have given us these strings also that we can copy paste, but you'll see we don't need these. Alright, so as you realize, first of all, we have our password. And we need to see if every character in a password, like if somehow it matches the criteria, right? So what we can do is, uh, there's this thing in Python, we can import string and you guys can see that it has these constants string dot ascii underscore letters ascii underscore lowercase ascii underscore uppercase digits punctuations etc and we can use these to verify if the password is strong or not basically these strings given over here instead of copying these in we can use these to solve a question so first of all let's make a note of what all criteria we have so let's go criteria and say string dot e underscore lowercase because it must have a lowercase character and then string dot e underscore uppercase because that's a criteria then string dot digits and then string dot punctuations punctuation and I'll just pump this up to maintain the formatting yeah and then we can have a count of characters and right now this is zero so we loop over each and one each and every criteria so for criteria in criterias and now we need to say if not contains password hyphen criteria uh, comma criteria then count plus one. So let me explain this to you guys. Contains is a function that we'll write in a second. It will basically check if passwords has at least one character from the criteria inside it. And if it doesn't contain a single character from the criteria, then we'll increase the count by one. And the count is basically the characters that we are trying to count that these are these are many other characters that uh, will need to be added all right so now let's go ahead and write a criteria fun a uh, contains function so we'll write a contains function and we'll take pw password and we'll take criteria now to solve this problem i'm going to be using sets so whoever all of you who have studied sets in let's say high school or something must know that there's a thing called intersection and intersection basically gives us the common elements in both the sets. For example, if we have a list 1, hyphen, 1, 2, 3, and then we have a list 3, uh, 2, 3, uh, 3, 4, if we have an intersection between both these two lists, it would give us uh, 2, 3. So it would give us uh, 2, 3. So intersection basically gives you the common elements between our uh, two lists. So what we can do is, if the intersection between 
password and criteria has a length greater than one then the password contains at least one character from criteria and that is how we can check if uh, it matches the criteria or not for this we're going to use sets so set dot intersection and inside here we need to pass two sets as well we can't pass lists so we can convert convert a set list into a set by wrapping it around with this function called set it's a constructor i guess not sure and criteria now this will give us the set that is intersection of these both and we can check if the length of this is greater than zero and all we need to do is return this again guys if you didn't understand this one just let me know in the comments i'll elaborate on it for you guys especially or you can hit me up on instagram as well i'll leave the link down below for my instagram all right so that is our contains function and by this we can find out like which are the how many characters do we need to add on the basis of the criteria now our next criteria is that the password should be a minimum of six characters so we can say if len password is less than six then let's figure out how many characters are missing let's say missing them. and let's say six minus len password and we can return now you need to, yeah, now you guys need to think we have this count and we have this missing if the count is less than missing then the missing is our answer but if the count is greater than missing then the then the count is our answer so what we can do is we can just choose the maximum of count and missing this will give us our answer and again guys just think about it uh, for example we have this question over here so right over here our missing won't be missing anything because uh, the string is well over six characters but it's missing a digit so uh, so it's a one from our criteria so that ways and we can consider this question as well uh, so we have in the sample input a capital a b and then one but it's missing a punctuation so that would be count one for criteria but again it's missing three characters because the password has to be minimum of length six so that's why our answer is six uh, our answer is three sorry yeah so we can apply the same logic over here and if len of password is greater than six then we just need to return our count so let's see if we did this correctly processing i hate when hacker and takes a lot of time but yes so as you can see we have our correct answers we can try submitting our code all right and once this is done running all of these test cases and we are sure our answer works i'll go over it once again for you guys wow that's a lot of test cases for a question 89 test cases never mind yeah yeah and as you can see it says congratulations you have done the challenge so let's go over the solution once again first of all i want to explain this contains function again if you still have doubts about intersection just look it up it's a basic math operation which says if you have two iterables basically i have one two three and then i have three four five if i have an intersection between them then it will return the most co the common elements that belong in both the lists so that would be three in that case so we are just checking if the intersection between the password and criteria is greater than zero if the length of that is greater than zero then we can say that it passes the criteria all right and over here we have uh, we have this list of criteria and then we are looping over it one by one and checking if if not contains so if says if it says that because our contains will return true but we want to say if it doesn't contain then add one to the count because that we need to add as a character then we check if line of password is less than six then we figure out how many letters are missing basically and then we return the max of count of missing because i explained earlier on if count is lower than missing then we can accommodate that count inside the missing characters as well otherwise we just return count and all right guys that's it for this video if you liked it just definitely just hit the like button share it whenever wherever and just let me know in the comments if you have some feedback for this one all right guys see ya